Welcome, my dear dreadfuls. I'm Nyx, curator of this penny dreadful moment. And tonight, I want you to lie back and close your eyes. Breathe in the cool, salty air. Feel your skin prickle in the early hours before dawn. Hear the waves starting to rush upon the shore. Feel yourself floating in the dark water as it starts to pull you under. The sea raged as the waves crashed into each other like lightning, and the skies thundered in anger. It was a night for shipwrecks and mysterious creatures to roam the waters. That's when I surfaced leaving the depths of the ocean, my intentions as violent as the water. I knew I would find him here, and all I had to do was sing. His eyes opened to gray skies, a storm on the horizon. It was odd for him to be up at this time. He rolled onto his back, kicked around under the covers and shut his eyes determined to go back to sleep. He could hear the ocean, the waves caressing the shore over and over again, declaring their everlasting love, the constant swooshing of the sea, like music, slowly lulled him back to sleep. There was a whistle in the wind, as if someone was singing to him a soft, sweet melody, almost like a whisper. His eyes snapped open again and he exhaled in frustration. He threw his sheets aside. There was no way he was going to fall back asleep. It was a cool seaside morning, too overcast to be bright. The light had barely touched the ocean. People were still dreaming, still lost in their own head and felt odd to be up at this time. And there it was again, that music in the air, an alluring brush of sound in the wind. Without really knowing how, he found himself down at the beach, walking along the water. The sand felt cool and dry under his feet. Minutes passed, hours maybe, he wasn't sure. Somewhere along the way, the morning fog had rolled in, with the rumbling of thunder in the distance promising a storm. Without a sense of direction, he followed the melody that had enchanted his heart. That's when he saw me standing by the shore. A woman, wearing a dress the color of seaweed, staring longingly at the ocean. The bottom of my dress was wet from where the waves kept creeping up to kiss my feet, as if I were royalty. The wind kicked up a storm in my hair, blowing the auburn curls every which way. My singing grew louder, as if I was right beside his ear. He was mesmerized, caught up in my beauty and in the wistful music that surrounds me, the way my eyes glared into the infinite the way my skin shimmered, tinted blue. He wanted to run his fingers through my soft hair that seemed to burn like hellfire. He longed for me to sing to him, my beautiful song of lust and agony, the melody so haunting and seducing, calling him, asking him to come with me, swearing to him my body, my soul, my voice with words from another world, promising him the softness of my breast, but also the heart which lies beneath, even if it was cold and full of bad intentions. But something felt wrong to him. Deep inside, he was trying to fight me, resist me. You want me, I whispered, my voice echoing in his head. Come with me. 
and I reached out to him with hands that were ready to drag him to the bottom of the ocean. He wanted it all, to love me, hold me. He wanted to wrap his hands around my pretty little neck and squeeze until my charm was broken. Feel the magic being crushed under his fingertips. No, he choked, barely being able to get the word out. My head snapped around to look at him, my eyes stormy with rage, the sea raging with my anger. The skies opened up and the rain fell as my lips turned into a sinister smile, my eyes locking him in a gaze. And when I sang, it was almost painful. He wanted me to stop. My voice cast a spell, like giant hands wrapping themselves around him, pulling him closer. His resistance left like the wind. He wanted to belong to my story, a story of magic and mystery as deep and dark as the sea. He wanted to be free. But my voice captured him, and my lies entranced him. I belong to the water, and now he belongs to me. When I reached out my hand, he took it. He knew my song ended in death, but what a small price to pay for a moment with me. Now that's the end of our moment together, my dear dreadfuls. I hope you enjoyed Mistress of the Sea. If you did, let me know in the comments below or on Twitter. And don't forget to share the story and check out the donation link in the description below. Now remember, my little dreadfuls, don't be afraid of the dark. Be terrified of what is in it. Until next time.